Today, I'm going to be sharing a secret that fly tires don't want you to know. But to start, we'll grab some orange thread and snap the excess free. Continue wrapping your thread to the back of the hook and create a thread dam that'll be important for our next step. Once complete, grab some brown biots, strip off two, and place them in a V formation. We'll measure them to be about the length of the hook shank and secure them to the back of the fly. The thread buildup will help display them out. Secure the biots tightly and begin wrapping towards the bead. Once complete, snip the excess furry and grab some brassy wire. Here I'm using copper. Insert the wire into the bead, secure it tightly, and wrap back towards the tail. Next, we'll grab one of my favorite dubbing blends. You can find it in the links below. Create a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping it around our hook shank, building up a taper as we work towards the head of the fly. Take your time with this and tighten the dubbing noodle as needed. Now remember, start with a little bit because you can always add more. Next, we'll grab our wire and begin wrapping in open spirals towards the head of the fly. Secure tightly, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the wire and helicoptering the excess furry. And then we'll brush out the body to give this fly a nice buggy look. Pull any excess fibers free and add a very loose dubbing noodle, wrapping this just around the head of the fly. Pull everything back and add a couple thread wraps in front. With this complete, brush it out once again to give it a nice buggy look. And this is a fly called Scruffy. And while it may not look pretty, I prefer fishing these buggy flies. So remember, if you're new to fly tying, don't get discouraged by seeing someone's pretty fly because a fly like this is likely to catch more fish anyway. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.